Okay, so I'm naming mine the String Builder Project. And I've got this annoying Darkula that I'm going to turn off. So I'm going to hit uh, Control back quote. I'm going to create a class called Demo just to show you what Spring, String Builder looks like. Can you see that in the back of the room, uh, Mr. Alejandro, sir? Can you read that easily or no? Yeah. How about you, Ben? Yeah. You want bigger or no? Okay. File, settings. Uh, what was it? Font. Let's try 25. Let's try 25. Okay. All right. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do PSVM, which is a shortcut. Hit the tab key and it'll create my main. And I'm going to show you some different ways to create a string builder. So I'm going to go string builder. SB equals new string builder. And I'm going to start off by giving it a string. No, I'm going to start off by spelling it correctly. And I'm going to go like that. And this is one way to create a string builder. Notice that the constructor call uses a string, not a string builder. It uses a string as its starting seed for the string builder. Now, if you want to know everything that a string builder can do, if you go to string, string builder Oracle, it will take you to the Oracle Help Center where you can see all the different features of the string builder. It's similar to string, but not exactly. And today, I want to start off by talking about these different constructors that you can call for string. Notice that there is no string con string builder constructor that takes another string builder. It doesn't exist. See that? But you can start a string builder with a string. So let's come over here like that. And then the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to print this puppy. So I'm going to go S out, that's system out, print out, and then I'm going to tab. And I'm going to go sb.toString like this. First time I run it, it's going to take a while. And you can see it printed the string. Because the print statement is smart enough to run the toString by itself, I don't even need to do that. I can just go like this. And this will still work. See, it still works. Now, if I go like this, if I go string builder sb2 equals sb, what have I done here? Have I made a copy that's deep or have I created a copy that's shallow? Who can tell me? Yes, Miss Mila? This is a shallow copy. That's not what I want. So let me try this new string builder. SB like that. Now it let me get away with this because I think it automatically converted it for me. But really, what I should have done was this. As Ben mentioned, I really should have converted it to a string first before using it in the constructor. Okay. So try to write it like that instead. Now, there are several other ways to create a string builder. One way would be like that. And if I print it right now, let's see what happens. You can see it's empty at the moment. See, it's empty. And now let's do another one where I'm going to put a number in here. I'm going to put the number 10 in here. Let's see if that does anything. Oh, look, it's telling me already that I'm setting an initial capacity so that it can hold 10 characters. Right now, I am not using that capacity in any way. 
So you can see that it's still empty. See that? It's still empty. But I'm telling it that this string will eventually grow to 10 characters. If you exceed that, it's fine. It will grow eventually. But you're just giving it a hint as to what you might initially need. Now, if you don't tell it any number at all, because you built it either, oops, because you either built it like this or you built it like this, it uses a default capacity of 16 characters. Okay. So if you don't tell it what capacity to use, it starts off by assuming that the capacity is 16. So right now, for example, if I was to print the capacity, I think there's a capacity. Uh, let's see, returns the capacity. Okay, so here, if I go system out sb.capacity like that, I ask it, what is the capacity of this string builder right now? Should come back with 16, if I remember correctly. Let's run it. 19, oops, sorry. It's going to be adding in the three. Now it should come back 16. You can see that an empty string starts off with a capacity of 16. If you put a seed in there for some other value, it will add that to the initial 16. And you can see it added the 16 capacity to the other five that are used, and it made the initial capacity 21. Try to understand what's happening with this capacity. You reserve that memory in your memory now to add additional characters later. If you're in your application, you know ahead of time how big that string is going to go, then it's good to have that capacity set right when you create it. Because if you blow the capacity and later need to update, it takes longer for your application to take that and copy it to a new location and update all the pointers and everything. So it's better to set the capacity if you know it ahead of time uh, initially. Got that? Now, I want to show you some funky stuff that happens with String Builder because your whole life has been around strings and you don't anticipate this. But let me show you something. Now, my question to you is, should I do that or should I do this? Which one of these two is the right way to update the string builder to add FGH? You discuss with the person sitting next to you now. Okay, let's have a look here. Is this the right way to append to the string builder or is this the right way? The first one, sir, how come I don't have to do this SP equals business? I had to do that last year. It's mutable, so here you are muting it. So I don't need this. In fact, I don't even know if this one will compile. I'll check that in a second, but let's just try this one first. And there you can see it actually went in there and changed the string. The capacity is still 21 because when you originally built it, it was 16 and then five more. And now you've used up some of that capacity with the FGH, but it's not going to bump the capacity until you blow it. Yes, Mr. Ben? The second one should work because that append is slightly different for string I think you're right. Still works, but is completely unnecessary. So you can see that you need to sort of get your mind retrained on these mutable strings now because you're literally going into the memory and changing those memory locations, the very thing I told you that you can't do last year with regular strings. So if you want to know everything that a string builder can do, let's come have over here and have a brief look at this documentation from Oracle. And you can see here that you can ask the string builder what its current capacity is. You can also increase the capacity. 
Let's see here. Well, there's all kinds of uh, stuff over here. Oh, uh, one other thing I need to show you. Oh, I stopped it already. Th there is this incredibly handy reverse function. And why String Builder has a reverse and String doesn't have a reverse, I don't know. But if you ever need to reverse a string, it's much easier if you build it as a String Builder and then just call the reverse method. That will reverse the string for you. So ABC turns into CBA. Why strings don't have that method, I never understood. Uh, now look at this method right here, trim to size. What that does is it gets rid of all the excess capacity. So if you have a string that's five digits long and the capacity is 21, if you say trim to size, the capacity will shrink to five, its current size. And there are all these other ones here you can insert in the middle. You can uh, add to the end with the uh, pen method, all these things. So now let me, uh, I'm going to count on you to learn a bunch of these, whatever you need for your project. And while, how long did we spend on string in, in CSA? Who remembers? Weeks, weeks on it, right? How long are we going to spend on string builder? A day. Why is that? Because it's not part of data structures, but it's important that you know String Builder because later on when we have other projects and data structures that use data structures, you might need String Builder. So I'm just going to give you a small taste here for String Builder, and there'll be a bunch of topics like this that are one-day events. So now let me talk about the project. Uh, we're going to build a hangman game. All right, I'm going to turn off my... Recording.